Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video, and today in NHL 16 Hockey Ultimate Team, we're going to be talking about everything you need to know about consumables. First of all, this year in HUT, you get 200 spaces to manage your consumables. You can find your consumable pile by going to your collection, or you can also find some of your cards in your item inbox. If you don't know what your item inbox is, the item inbox is just a place where your extra cards and players are stored when your collection is full. It can also be a place where items won from the marketplace will be stored, so make sure to check both your storage spaces to find missing cards or players. Now that we talked about where your consumables are stored, now let's talk about the functions of consumables and why they are vital for keeping your team running. When a player on your team gets injured, needs a new contract, or needs better chemistry with linemates, you will need to go into the marketplace to purchase these cards. We are first going to be talking about training cards, and with this category, it consists of skater boosts, goalie boosts, positioning change cards, change team cards, and captaincy cards. Goalie and skater boosts are a great way to improve your team, whether you like players to perform better or you need that extra push to end off that division. Change position and change team cards are useful for building chemistry. We talk a lot about chemistry in my previous video on my channel, and I will leave you a link in the description box below for the full guide on how to get 100 chemistry. Lastly, captaincy cards are training cards which give a small boost to your best players. You can have one captain on your team and two assistant captains, so make sure to use these consumables for your ultimate team. Next up, we will talk about contracts, and contracts are vital for using your team in NHL 16 HUT. Just know that if even one player has a missing contract on your team, you will not be able to enter a game, so make sure that everybody has a contract. Contracts can be bought in bronze, silver, and gold tiers, and the best way to tell how much a contract affects a player is by looking at the numbers. Let's look at this gold contract for example. This contract will give your gold players a boost of plus 13 contracts, silver players a boost of plus 11 contracts, and bronze players a plus 11 contracts. Each contract has a different purpose, so make sure to check these numbers to see which one is better to apply to your player. Lastly, we're going to be talking about healing cards, and healing cards will sometimes be needed when one of your players gets hurt or if your goalie gets fatigued. When a player is hurt on your team, you can see how many games they will be injured for, and with which part of the body by flipping it over with a Y or triangle button on your controller. As you can see, my starting goaltender is tired, and the way I can remove the fatigue off that player is by buying a fatigue card from the marketplace or swapping in your backup goalie to play for a game. Finally, let's move on to injury cards. If any of your players are hurt in your lineup, what you can do is buy what is known as a healing card, and healing cards can be bought in three different tiers, from bronze, silver to gold versions. Healing cards are separated by five different categories from torso, arms, legs, goalie fatigue, and any injuries. Find the injury card you need, buy it from the marketplace, and apply it to the player who needs it. But anyways guys, that's pretty much everything you need to know about consumables and hockey ultimate team. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the comments section below. But until next time, thanks for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.